Hi, this is Chris Porter down here at Yes Fitness, where we're always helping our clients get fit, feel younger, and live better. Today with me, I have Angela Bosco, who is our certified exercise physiologist. We're going to go through the fifth part of our five-part series on hip mobility and lumbar stability. Again, making sure that that hip is moving correctly so that we don't cause any low back pain or knee pain. We're going to work on the backside today. Make sure that those, those glutes, those muscles are working correctly, turned on, ready to go as we start to exercise. We're going to do something exercise that we call in the multi-planar series um, so that it's not just in one line of motion. So Angela's going to start off with some simple sideline clamshells. She's going to lie all the way down on her side. She's going to support her head. Her feet are stacked and as if she's laying up against the wall. So I'm going to make like I'm the wall here and I'm just going to hold her in place. And then she's just going to slowly open up that top leg up and down, making sure that her hips don't move. So show them a bad one. This would be bad. Notice how she opened up her hip. That's her back moving. That's not her hip moving. You want to be able to move nice and easy without any motion in the lumbar spine. The second exercise Angela's going to do is she's going to do what we call quadruped or down on all four forward and reverse hip circles. So Angela's going to have her knee right on the edge of the pad so that this knee can be up off the ground and make sure that her hips are, are horizontal or parallel to the ground. And from here, she's just going to do nice, easy little circles forward and reverse. While this is happening, notice nothing's happening in her lumbar spine. All the motion is occurring in the hip joint. Turning it on, getting ready to make sure that the muscles are ready for exercise. And then finally, we're going to do what we call a bent knee lateral band walk. So we're going to take a little mini band, we're going to put it around Angela's ankles. She's going to come into a nice semi-squat position, feet about hip width apart. So she's got a little knee in her hip, knees, a little bend in her knees, a little bend in her hips. And when she walks laterally, she's going to make sure that she's pushing with the trail leg while stepping with the forefoot. You don't want to just step out with the left foot and let this foot drag them off. You want to push with this leg, pushing with that glute, activating it, getting it ready for exercise. Here we go. So she's going to push, push and step, push and step. she go one direction and she head back. She wants to make sure she keeps that little bend, toes nice and straight, and tell us where you feel it. Right on the outside of the legs. Relax. So there's three exercises that helps turn the body on, make sure it's ready for exercise. So that concludes our five-part series on hip mobility with lumbar stability for injury prevention and making sure your body's ready to exercise when you actually go to lift your weights. Thanks for watching.